Hello students. So once again welcome in the class of a physical education. So let us I am going to recap again regarding a football game. Because the all the topics are linked with the each other. Once again I am going to repeat these all. So first I taught you regarding the football game. Uh, fields measurements of the football field so length of the football field 100 to 130 yards and the breadth of the football field 50 to 100 yards then the field has a one center circle with the radius of the 10 yards then the being a goal area penalty area penalty arc then uh, two goal post on the each goal line now the shape of the play field is a rectangular the shape of the football field is a rectangular then the length of already told uh, circumference of the football is 68 cm to 70 cm and the weight of football is 410 g to 450 g and the players Eleven players will play on the football field, and seven are the substitutes, extra player students. In a one period, uh, one video, I told you five. It was the old. Now they extend the two more. Now seven are extra players in a football field. All together, they are eighteen players. Duration of the match is ninety minutes altogether, forty-five each. Then interval of ten to fifteen minutes. Height of the goal post is eight feet, and the distance between the goal post is a eight yards. The height of the corner flag is one hundred. Uh, sorry, one. Uh, meter and fifty centimeter, one point fifty meter and five feet. If we ask in the feet, the five feet. If ask in the meters, then that is a one point fifty meters. So then after that, I taught you. How to start the start and the restart the play. A coin is tossed. and the team which wins the toss decides which are they taking the goal uh, side or the kick off if the winning team takes the kick off the kick off will starts from the center circle we can say uh, place kick also kick off and the place kick there is a no difference between the place kick and the kick off then in the second half then the other team the other team will then start the match with the kick off after the goal has been scored then the game starts with the kick off from the center circle when the players takes a kick off the rest of player, players will stand 10 yards away from the kicker then i taught the ball in and out the ball is out of play when it has completely crosses the goal line or the touch line and number 2 when the referee stop the match there are the two causes when the ball is out of play then the ball is in play at all other times including when it rebounds uh, with the goal post or the assistant referee or the referees uh, sorry when the baller is rebounds with the goal post or the corner flags and the ball is come back in the play field that is ball is in and when it is uh, rebounds with the assistant referees or the referee uh, uh, if they are on the play field then the ball is called in in play then next i taught you the duties of referee the duties of referee he enforces the rules of the game because when the player breaks the rule then the referee shows the yellow card or a red card yellow card for the 
वार्निंग कॉशन एंड द रेड कार्ड इज द रेफरी शोज द रेड कार्ड एंड द सेंट द प्लेयर आउट ऑफ द प्ले फील्ड एंड दैट प्लेयर इज नॉट अलाउड टू प्ले अगेन and the second he controls the match in the cooperation with the two assistant referee there are the two assistant referees uh, one is in the uh, one side and the other one is the on the other side they help they are having a two flags red and white when the ball goes out of the play field from the touch line or the goal line then these uh, uh, assistant referees are help to the um, referee Uh, when the ball is offside that time also the assistant referees are uh, their help to the referees and uh, third point he ensured that the ball meets the requirement of the rule mean the uh, ball the circumference and the weight and uh, uh, so it should be uh, according to the rule then fourth he ensures the players equipment as per the rule players are not allowed to wear such a things those who are the harmful for the other players then fifth point he acts as a time keeper and keeps the record of the match the referee only takes the record of the match then he stops the suspend and terminate the match at his discretion for any infringement of the rules if he feels any player is breaking the rules according to the rules not playing it's not listening to the referee then the referee can stop the match then he allows play to continue until the ball is out of play if the player is in his opinion only slightly injured when player gets injury then early the uh, referee stop the match if the referee feels it's a slightly injured then it's a depend on the referee is going to stop the match or continue he punishes some more serious offense when a player commits a more than one offenses at the same time or uh, player uh, continue uh, breaks the rule then the first uh, referee caution is shows the yellow card if continues to uh, after the warning that uh, he shows the uh, red card then he acts on the advice of the assistant referees regarding regarding incidents which he has not seen okay for example the offside if the referees not seen then with the help of the assistant referees he take up he takes a decision and he restart the match after it has been stopped then saying already i told you the duties of the assistant referee there are the two assistant referee for <coughs> the duties when the whole of the ball passes when the whole of the ball has passed out of the play field number 2 which side is entitled to a corner kick and the goal kick when a player may be penalized for being is an offside that position when a substitution is requested then they help to the referee then so today i'm going to tell about the uh, sorry how to method of scoring method of scoring when the ball when a ball according to the rule has passed completely over the completely completely that word is used completely mean the circumference of the ball and weight of the ball according to the rule when the uh, when a ball according to the rule has passed completely over the goal line between the goal post over the goal line between the goal post under the cross bar ball is cro crosses the goal line 
is a uh, goal is a score the team scoring more goals shall be winning one in case no goal or an equal number of goals are scored the game shall be termed a draw okay if the match is draw so then extra time will be given after that 30 minutes extra time will be given after that at the same position uh, then the five penalty kicks will be given if the same as it is match is draw then the alternative kicks will be given to alternative kicks first a team will take a kick then the b team in this way till the tie is not break continue for this hmm. So it's a very, uh, I think, clear. And before that, yesterday I taught you the goal kick and the corner kick. That also I'm going to repeat it. Goal kick. A goal kick is awarded when the whole of the ball, having last touched a player of attacking team. Yesterday I taught her when the Ball is kicked by attacking team. Place of goal is scored. The ball goes out of the play field and cross the goal line. That is the goal. Kick will be given to the defending team. Those are going to defend them. Now here is who kicked. A team is kicked. Now B team will get, uh, get a uh, goal kick. So, the procedure, the ball is kicked from any point within the goal area by a player of the defending team. Who is the defending team? B team is the defending team. The second, opponents remain outside the penalty area until the ball is not in a play. Which is the penalty area? This big B. We call this a penalty area. And this part also penalty arc inside this is also part of the penalty area. The kicker does not play the ball a second time until it, it has touched an other player. When the B team's player is kicked the ball and second time that player cannot touch the ball until the other players will not touch the ball. The ball is in play when it is kicked directly beyond the penalty area. So next corner kick. The ball goes out. Ball crosses the goal line. Same way, same ball. But only here the fence between the now it is has at the last touched by the B team's player. Defending team data first Attacking team that has the ball went out and cross the goal line. Now, ball is touched by the defending team and ball gone out and cross the goal line. So, now penalty kick will be given to the attacking team from the penalty arc. Then, So students, today I added a one new point, uh, this one uh, new point that is a method of a scoring when the ball. So once again, I'm going to repeat that method of a scoring when the ball crosses the goal line between the goal post under the crossbar, then holy ball crosses the goal line. Between the goal post, under the crossbar, without breaking any rule, without infringement, then we call that a goal has been scored. So, this is the new topic. Because all the points are linked with the, each other. That's why every day I'm going to recap all these points. Once again, I'm telling, I said here 
the five players are extra these were the first five players now the seven players are extra players in the next video i am going to tell about why the seven players are need to keep a extra players thank you